what's the deal with Michael Anthony? Why did they hate? What was the rift all about? Do you have any idea or why they hate him so much? I mean, I don't know anything more than, you know, than yeah. you or anyone else would know who would read. I mean, I think, I think at some point along the way, there was a fraying relationship with Sammy and that I, I believe from what I've, I've read and gathered was that Ed expected loyalty from Mike, that Mike, it was basically him or me. I don't think, you know, in so many words, but like that, I think that was the thing. And, and at that point in time, Ed was not, um, touring and was not looking like he was training towards making a Van Halen record. And, and that Mike was basically expected to be in kind of a holding pattern. It's like, yeah. you know, it's our band, the brothers, band. like it's, I mean, that's one thing's clear. It's a brother's band, right? It's, it's whatever anyone else might think who had ever been in that band. It's the brother's band. And so I, I believe when Mike was like, I, I'm not going to just sit tight and wait. That was considered to be a breach of loyalty. I mean, sure. again, that's, um, that but even would be prior the, to that, Ed tried to replace Mike two different times, and right up, right around the fair warning time, and before that, I, there something about Mike that they just rubbed him the wrong way. I don't know. You know, he he made that comment. There was a, a an interview that Steve Rosen did in around 1981 with Ed, and you know, one of the things that's been kind of interesting in the last three or four years is there's been a lot of interviews that had been edited, obviously back in 1981, that journalists started to put out like like oh what was off the record in 1981 i'm not going to have off the record anymore and he made the comment about like you know basically mike doesn't pull his weight um again this is ed's word so ed doesn't mike doesn't pull his weight he just bought a porsche you know and he doesn't write or something like that and so you know um at least dave pulls his weight um you know so that's the other thing too i mean i look um i i can't I can't explain it. I mean, my, you know, I think like everybody else, anyone who's had an interaction with Mike Anthony and a, you know, fan personal setting or whatever would be like, you know, this, guy. this guy seems. Yeah. And yeah. so I, I can't, and I, you know, I'm not going to try to explain it beyond that because I don't know. Um, but yes, it, there's, it was a long running thing, but it definitely came to a head around that time. And I think, you know, I think understandably so. I mean, I think, Mike made the choice to say, okay, I'm going to go with the guy who wants me and wants to move forward with playing and doing what he wants to do, which is he's, he wants to play, he wants to make exactly. records. And at that point, yeah. And at that point, like 98 to, and again, I don't remember the exact timeline of all this in terms of that, but basically from like, you know, it was like that, that middle period of 2004 ish or whatever. There was sort of like, you know, that Mike came back or whatever, but it was, yeah. it, it was like Mike and Sammy came back, but it was really sort of a, um, you know, yeah, yeah, sign his rights away, and wasn't an easy. Was not an easy arrangement. Oh, 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 oh.